The light is beautiful, your subjects are positioned and comfortable, and you're composing your shot. This is not the time to learn the basics about your digital camera. Now is the time. If you're floundering with the technical fundamentals, you might miss that magic moment. Using your digital camera needs to become second nature to you, so you can concentrate on creating the best image possible. Learning about the basics in increments and practicing along the way is a good recipe for success. Let's begin with a quick refresher about pixels and megapixels to ensure that we're all on the same page. Every digital camera has a megapixel rating, but what does megapixel mean and why is it important? Well, a digital camera's resolution is measured in megapixels. Just so you know, it takes one million pixels to make just one megapixel. And the word pixel is short for picture element. And that's exactly what it is, because a digital image is made up of millions of these tiny, tile-like colored squares called pixels. The more pixels you have, the higher your image resolution. And image resolution determines how much detail you see in your images and how large a print you can successfully make. This is pretty important because the printed page requires more pixels for viewing sharp images than a computer screen does. A computer screen only requires 72 pixels per inch for viewing sharp images, but a print requires approximately 300 pixels per inch to appear sharp and clear. You can always reduce the size of your large image by cropping or resizing, but you cannot successfully enlarge a small image for printing purposes and maintain that sharp quality. Once you crop or resize an image, you've essentially thrown away pixels and you can't get them back. You never know when you'll capture that magical image, so set your camera to the highest resolution possible and take advantage of all the megapixels your camera allows. This option can be found in your menu or function setting on your camera. And every camera varies, so be sure to pull out that owner's manual and set your camera to the highest quality resolution. Up next, we'll learn more about memory cards and where your images are stored.